like a picture on the wall And now I know how to steer I'm not afraid if I should fall, yeah It took some tears, oh, but together we were strong And now I feel a burning beat so I've just come out of work. I've taken all of my makeup off. This is going to be the section where I do the simple sheet mask. This again was in Superdrug for 150. I have seen before and I do think it's like a dupe for the Garnier sheet masks. Um, I've kept it in the fridge. I do keep sheet masks in the fridge because it's really refreshing. It's really nice. Um, so I have done that. And again, just like the Garnier, it does tell you um, kind of how to use it if you're very new to sheet masks, but I'll talk you through it. So it does say, just in case you're new, step one is remove the mask from the sachet and gently unfold. So there is kind of like, similar to the Garnier, there's a blue part uh, and a white part, and as you keep it to the top, you literally just peel it down. And then it says, step two, leave on for 15 minutes and gently peel off the mask. Three, massage and absorb the excess serum. So very, very similar to the Garnier instructions. Um, and it does say that it has a water boosting, hydrating um, technique to the mask. And again, it's for the sensitive to normal skin. Now what I'm going to do, which is a bit different, and you would have seen this in my Primark haul, this is hydrating mist and it is cucumber and aloe for all skin types and it just really refreshes your skin throughout the day you can put it on um over makeup as well and i also got just that we wouldn't be using this now but um in the same section was the ps primer water which i think is a dupe for the mac primer setting spray what we're going to use and again you can see the the price was only two pounds so it's really really kind of money saving if you're on a budget if you're studying and going to work that kind of thing or if you just want to save it for something else so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to shake it before i put the mask on and i'm just going to because it's hydrating and it's boosting my skin it kind of prepares your skin a little bit more for the sheet mask so i'm just going to hold it six inches from the face and close my eyes that was just five, one, two, three, four, and five. So you're getting all the areas of your face and kind of you can feel it dry. So, and again, it goes over makeup absolutely fine. It doesn't kind of drag anything or make the mascara go down or anything like that. So now, and you can see the shine is kind of given my skin already. So I usually just use one finger each and really, okay. So that kind of preps the skin. So what we're going to do is have a look at this. Now, this is my first time using this, guys. So it kind of be together, we'll be looking at it. So again, it does have the little tab here and you simply just peel across. Like that. So I've just taken the top off. And we're now going to take a look. So I'm just going to, and I've actually dipped into it before I picked it up. I can feel a lot of serum. Wow, guys, this is actually more than the Garnier. And there's serum still in the pack. So let's just, there doesn't seem to be a blue part, but I, I do presume that it's quite, I imagine there's no peel off in this one. I'll just have a look at the instructions again, but I just wanna make sure I'm getting it right. Now, there we go. It does seem to be more kind of, there we go. A little bit harder to figure out, okay. So what I'm gonna do is before we place it on, I'm just gonna double check there isn't a peel off. From what I can see, there's no peel off on the mask, but I just wanna double check that. Just this side, let's just take it out like that. And I do like that it's slightly smaller and the eyes seem to be, kind of looks like scary, scary movie kind of type thing going on there, if you remember that. Okay, there we go. All right, we got it going. Oh guys, this is, okay. Yeah, very scary movie, <laughs> whoa. Okay, so there it is. Um, I will just check there is no... Um... Okay, so it, there's no peel off in this one. So just remove the mask um, from the sachet and gently unfold. Place the mask evenly over the face. Um, previously cleansed skin and leave to 15 minutes and gently peel off the mask from the top. So there is no 
there isn't anything to kind of peel off in this one, which is a kind of a little bit better, I think, about it because they are kind of hard and tricky to actually get on in the first place. So, okay, I'm going to do it from this way because it does seem there's more serum on this side. So I'm just going to get the top. Okay. And I'm just going to, using the mirror, beautiful smell, they're like a spa, kind of which is unusual for simple because they don't generally have a scent. Okay, and I'm really just peeling that back, rubbing it in. And it is gonna take a few minutes, guys, to just for everybody individual to kind of work it out on the face. And I can feel it even going under my chin. That is very relaxing. Okay, just bringing it up. I like the way it's almost see-through, so there's not that much of a difference from your skin and there's the eyes are going to be different for everybody, but you can kind of adjust it, I think. Okay. So I'll set that on my skin. I'll leave it for 15 minutes and then I'll come back. Hi guys, so it's been 15 minutes. Apologies for the lighting. What I'm going to do is just pop it's on the light. bright on there. Right so I left it on for 15 minutes as says to do. Um, and after we peel this off, I'll just tell you a little bit more about the ingredients. Actually, I might do it before so if we can see any difference. So it says, water boost hydrating sheet mask, the perfect antidote to fight five early signs of hydrating the skin. Skin dryness and dullness, skin um, dehydrations, um, dehydration lines, lightness and roughness. Inspired by Asian beauty rituals, our new water boost hydrating sheet mask is of super soft natural fibres contouring to the face like a second skin. Which I have to say guys, in term, and if it was in comparison with the Garnier, um, this actually was quicker to put on and actually was very, very, um, much, just much easier to kind of manoeuvre around the face. Um, there's no smell to it. Not re There's like a light perfume smell. I know Simple are very kind of popular for no artificial kind of colourings or perfume. There's no hard cash chem chemicals um, that will upset your skin. So let's just peel it from the top all the way down. So I'm just going to start here very, very slowly. And the other thing that I do like is that from the Garnier, there's lots of serum, not that you mind, because serum's great, but it was kind of dripping the last time. So what I'm going to do is just pop this in my little holder, and then we're just going to... The reason I use one finger is because you actually stimulate a lot of your skin cells better that way, and then I just go up. It's better to go up the bridge of the nose, and then just down. Now... I'm not seeing straight away, but I didn't with Garnier either. I will take pictures afterwards, but um, I'm not seeing straight away any difference. I'm feeling um, very soft, very, very soft. Um, a different feel than a serum would usually give. Serum would usually give that really, not sticky, but um, the gel-like consistency. And I don't, which I like, because you're not worrying if you're going to bed straight after this, it's going to stick to the pillow or anything like that. Um, so what, I'm just going to have a quick look, because in the Garnier, there was a lot of serum left. So I just want to check. Yes, there is. There's so much, guys. So I'm just going to kind of... And what I would do if you're doing this at night, which I would um, advise, I did say that in my other face mask reviews, I just personally prefer and would always advise to do a face mask if in the morning, if you're not going anywhere, so you're not popping makeup straight onto it, because that can actually clog the pores and cause breakouts. What I would usually do it is if you're doing it in the morning and you don't really have any plans maybe for that day, um, or you're working from home or something like that, then definitely. Um, at night is usually when I would do them personally. Or again, if I'm not doing something and I have some free time. Um, so guys, there's lots left, which I'm very, very impressed with. I really like it. And what you could do is put this, the excess serum into dry areas of your skin. Like I seem to have a very dry T-zone. And that's usually where a lot of my breakouts occur. And if you are someone who do breakouts, it doesn't actually um, make them. Some of the gel ones from Neutrogena, I mean, Neutrogena did one and it was like a gel one, but it actually broke people out when I looked at the reviews. So I like that. I really do. I would highly recommend it. And of course, what I did was I used beforehand. I don't think it made a huge difference, but just for my skin, because I know I've got dry skin. Um, Cucumber and Aloe Hydrating Mist from, Mist from Primark, which is £2. It's great for value. So I, do you know what? I think the best um, time to take a picture will be first thing in the morning. I often find that with face masks. If you do them at night, 
and you don't see much of a difference and you're kind of like, mm, did that help? I often find um, the next day, and I'll take a picture in the morning just to see out of interest, um, just to see how it feels. So I have some excess, so I will keep that for another night. Um, but I have to say on first impressions, I really like it. The price is something else I prefer, 150. I know it's not a huge um, comparison from, I think the 499 primer that Garnier do, but you know, the other thing about face masks is sometimes when you move your mouth after a face mask, it kind of still feels like it's still on and I, I really don't feel that. Um, so yes, I would definitely advise that. Um, usually available at Superdrug and Boots, most pharmacies do them too. Um, I will see you in the next segment. Hi guys, so today I'm coming again with a little mini haul. Actually, I've been to B&M with a friend and I in Ireland we don't have that and it was like amazing to me. I've gotten a couple of things from there that I'm gonna show you quickly. I know in this house I don't have a lot of storage. If you can see in the back room, I do have room, but when it comes to things like apart from hanging pictures, as you can see, you could put a wardrobe in and just here you might see I've got like a hot press kind of thing, but if you put a wardrobe in, it just makes everything quite small. Now my guest room is a bit bigger, but I still think, you know, I just had a reason, like, let's just get some storage for makeup, for bathroom things, that kind of thing I was looking for. So one of the other things, now I do have a mirror, as you can see back there, and I do have a, a review on it, which I will put in the, bo with the bottom, but I have got a mirror from Superdrug. Um, and the BMM haul I'll show you in a moment. This is, like, a, it fits kind of on your desk, and it has a little rotation, but it's actually... Um, you have like up close and then quite far away. But I like that if you're doing eyeliner, you can go up close. If you're doing a lipstick or anything like liner, and then if you just need it a bit further back, you can do the rest of your face. So I really, really like that, guys. Um, if I stick with Superdrug just for a minute, I then got two other products and then I can move on. Um, this, I like these scents. This is called Layering Lab Paradise. Um, now I do have a little review on it and I, um, I will put these in afterwards, but the smell is beautiful. It's tangerine, green tea, and vanilla, and it's just beautiful, guys. And what they, they say you can do is you buy a couple of them. So I have the vanilla one, but it's just, unfortunately, it's just run out. And they say mix them, and like it actually does work. Um, so, and they're very affordable, guys, very affordable. And the scent actually lasts so long. I had it on, I went out with my friends, I came back, and I could... I could smell it in the living room. I could smell it in the kitchen. It was really, it was amazing. I was very impressed. This was, I think, three ninety nine. And then if you have um, points built up on your super drug card, that kind of thing, you know, you do get value for money. The, okay, let's move on. Okay, sorry. There's one more thing from um, Super Drug. This is their own um, cream, and it's the um, Dry Skin Soothe, Soften, and Moisturizes, fragrance free. So it's like um, E forty five. Um, for the face and it's got antioxidant um, complex as well. It is and it does say it's animal friendly which I was you know I'm trying to do that as much as possible um, and I've been looking for that kind of sign on most things. It's 100% um, um, money back guarantee as well so very impressed with that. I only have used it once and do be quite careful guys because if I just show you and I can rub it into my arm if you even just put some pressure on it's that's how much comes out. So just be careful. I can pop that just on my arm there. There's no scent, so it's okay. Um, but yes, just if you have it already, and you've just bought it, um, I would just suggest be very, very careful. Um, sorry about my hair. I have naturally curled it, and it's still mid, mid wet to dry. Um, so yes, um, brilliant. No fragrance, um, and it's for dry and sensitive skin. And again, this was three ninety nine. Um, so then, okay, moving on to B&M. Now, I only got two things, but believe me, I could have stayed in there for so long. So I'm just going to show you these wine glasses. Now, they're plastic, but they, they just look so elegant, guys. So just let me show you. And I do have a picture as well. I haven't taken them out yet, but that is what they look like. So on that side, there's green and purple. And then if you move it to the other side, you've got blue and pink. And they are just gorgeous, guys. They're absolutely beautiful. Um, and then there is, because there was a test one out, and I thought, oh, that's a bit light for plastic, but there's a heaviness to them, because at the bottom they have a protection, a protective layer, and there is a heaviness to them. And I think if you, I mean, invest in higher, I mean, I think 
one of my friends when I was sharing last year had a Waterford Crystal and they were beautiful glass wine glasses but you just always be so careful because you'd be wondering oh my god am I gonna break that if somebody comes over kind of thing but they do look elegant so if you were having a party or you were say you were doing like a freelance makeup before a test like at home you could bring these with you know you could have a little prosecco in it so I do think they're for all occasions I was there as I said I took like a little tester out just to see and the heaviness guys it was really nice and there's the the bottom there and they believe it or not and I will put it up so you can see they were $3.99 I know for a four pack so very impressed with that guys now again Ireland doesn't have B&M where you know I've, I've looked through and it has, doesn't have it so I'm really impressed the next thing I got and just forgive me because I have to go down for a second was three um three storage boxes and I'll just show you so it's a set of three it gives you the measurements. Originally, when I saw it on the side, I was like, oh, three of the same size. That could be handy. But actually, they're not really small. They are smaller, but they don't get too small. So you have um, the 34 by 24 by 8.5, and that's the biggest one. Then it goes to 30 by 5 by 21 by 8. So it gradually goes up. And again, I want to see, but it still has the price. Set of three, it doesn't, but they were $3.99 as well. And there's, again, there's a heaviness to them. So if you have medication in one, you could have bathroom in the other, makeup. It just depends, just because I take my medication, that's something I would do. Um, but yes, very, very nice, guys. So again, I would look for a B&M if it's in your area. I went to Bista for mine. Um, but yeah, and they have, just to show you, these actually pull out um, and they're like little like holders kind of thing. So honestly, guys, would seriously recommend those. And I will put a picture. And then I have put a video in this for this, but I just wanted to show you up close. This is the um, Primark Primer Water. And it was two pounds and it's a hundred mils. And you put this on before you put your makeup on. Um, and it is just as good as a, a primer. I got the Rimmel one, I have the Rimmel Primer. Um, and I have done a test on it, like I've spent one week doing this and one week doing the other one. Um, and I do find it's just as good. It um, doesn't soak into the skin immediately, which is good too, because, you know, sometimes you can put primer on and it still feels dry. I really like it. It says it preps the skin for makeup application, also hydrates and refreshes. So uh, you can see I've kind of only used it for a week because you only need four sprays. So, you, I mean, the other thing obviously about it is that you get a lot of use out of it. Um, and what I would do is I'm a freelance makeup artist is when this goes, I would actually use it like for the 99% alcohol. I would use this again. So I highly recommend this, guys. Um, I'll just show you some other ones Sony, now. This is Argos. Sorry, guys. This is a Sony um, optical zoom and it has a really good lens. Um, I'll just show you the back. I was looking for a camera for a long time because I need a new one for recording. I'll put the other one. So that comes on. Um, I'm going to actually I'm waiting for a holder for a stand so that I can you can see me there um, then it goes you can actually do obviously close-ups and um, it does movie and um, flash and then the menu is here so it just gives you the options would you like um, still image shooting which, which image would you like and um, you can actually put this into your TV and see it then plug it up to the TV um, so it's just um, it was, I think, because I got it the day after I got paid, I think it was $59.99, but it was reduced from $79. And I know $59 seems a lot for a camera, but actually, guys, it, I think you could get really good use out of this as well. And they do say, if you want to come back, we can give you like a, not an insurance kind of thing, but um, a little kind of um, paper to say you've got like um if something happens to it you're covered basically um so i did get a holder i just can't see where it is at the moment you know um to protect it and that kind of thing so i will be using that i'm going to set it up and kind of see how it works because i mean i i'm not used to this type of camera and um, i actually had a camcorder the last time so very you know that's why i want to get a stand i want to get all of that the other thing that i have to get used to guys is at the moment in this camera i can see myself so i can see what's happening so i would have to get like maybe something in the background so i could see this as well so not just things like that just prep before i do it and um, so i'll just switch that off put that there 
The other thing that arrived that, you know, I've needed these for ages, guys, and I was trying to put it off as much as I could. One of my eyes, I have really good long distance, um, you know, um, view. And then this one, I'm slightly short sighted. So here my I got my glasses and I know I should be. It's very naughty of me, but I haven't really, besides the, uh, the, the shop when they were like, oh, do you want to see what they look like? And I was like, okay. And so they're in this little pack, which is lovely, but oh my God. Okay, guys, I'll just show you. I mean, can you see me? I'm going like red, even looking at it. I just, I feel like I don't have a glasses face. There's some girls on YouTube, like Chucky Cats, she wears them. And she, like, they, she has the face, you know, she's, and I just like, oh. But anyway, I'll show you. So that's what the, oh my God. I look like a librarian gone wrong. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to put them on. Oh my God. I know it's not a big thing, but can you see my face? Okay. I don't even have blush on. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to do it. Oh my God. Now, like, don't get me wrong. I can see really well, but I just look like, I don't know. Oh, I just don't think I have the face. You always see like these people and they have the face. And I just don't think. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to take them off because I'm getting a bit ooh, about it. But um, I, do you know what? I've only, sh I've actually worn them around the house. And like the day I have to wear them going into the school for work, I'm just going to be like, don't judge me. Oh my God. Don't, <laughs> you know, because I have, like, I've told a few friends, I'm like, oh, I've gotten, I need to get glasses. And they were like, oh, and I was like, I know. And um, I think the way, the reason I chose this as well, because if you have big black, kind of, it just looks so obvious. So, and I did think these came up to about here. I didn't realise they were going to be so long. So I think it's just going to be about getting used to them. But yeah, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. Maybe I just don't. I'm not used to them. But I, I don't really. Yeah. I just don't know. But yeah, no, they were. I mean, I went for the actual eye test themselves because they do suggest that before you just choose. Um, so they're bifocals. Um, and they get. I got two of these just with it. So um, just to keep them really, really in good condition. Um, no, I do. I do appreciate having them, but I just. Myself, I just don't know if they suit me. So, um, yeah, they haven't really been out much besides in the house um, because they did say wear them for an hour to get used to them, take them off again, wear them for it. So I have been doing that. So I have kind of, but because it's the weekend, um, besides seeing my friends, which I didn't really need them for, um, I haven't really taken them out. So I suppose I better start on them tomorrow, which is Monday in work. Um, so yes, it's, I've probably been, I know that other people in the world have so many more problems than glasses. Don't get me wrong. I know that. And I don't mean to be, oh, what am I going to, I just mean, yes, <laughs> I just, I don't know. I really don't, but I will, I will use them. Now, the other thing I got, the last two things in this segment are, one is a repurchase, which you would have seen, and I will link it below. It's the Deep Dead Sea Clarifying um, Clay Mask, and it's in lemon. And actually what I have in the fridge, which is another, um, second buy basically is the simple sheet mask which isn't I just find when you put it in the fridge and you put it on it just it's beautiful so um they're very different so you do have um your kind of your clay mask which I feel is just as kind of refreshing it does take I suppose the only thing about obviously any clay mask is it does take a little bit longer to take off um but I mean there's nothing kind of you know I I do feel and I that they actually do the same benefits but I think for me um, simple um, sheet masks they just feel a little bit more um, relaxing on the face spa like because what I do find about the clay masks is they do dry after about 15 minutes um, so yes but which is I mean for clay masks that's what they do you just ma you massage them into cleanse dry face using your fingertips avoid the lip and eye area and leave on for 10 to 15 minutes so yes and the other one I haven't tried which is from the same uh, soup drug is just the um it was the exfoliating mask, which I've never tried, and a friend gave it to me actually. Um, Super Fruits exfoliating mask, and it has those little beads in it. So I will try that maybe next week. I tried to do a mask once a week, um, just for my skin, and I do find since I've been doing that, I'm not getting the breakouts I usually get. So I will keep doing that. Um, so that was kind of this mini haul. I do want to try these at some point when the friends come over. Just, I think they're lovely, guys. They really are. Um, and 3 dollars so if you do have a B&M, I would highly recommend going to it. 
um, as you can see in the background, I have got an, um, I have got a separate segment for it where you see it up close. But this I got in Dunelm, and it's the glamour. But it has this lady, and it's silver, black, and white. And guys, it's just amazing. It really is a canvas. I and I thought for a canvas, you know, it's just beautiful. So that's another another purchase. And we'll see you in the next segment. And thank you for watching for this video.